first at 5.30 tonight, cold case investigation. This week marks the 29th anniversary of a Cranston woman's death. Donna Fisher was killed back in December of 1986, and no one has ever been charged with her murder. And new at 5.30 tonight, we're talking to investigators about how technology could finally help crack the case. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell joins us now live from the control room with more details. Police can't talk about the specifics of the case, but they tell me they tracked down every single lead. It's been 29 years since Donna Fisher was killed, strangled to death in her own home in Cranston. She was my best friend. She was you know, just a joy to be around. We spoke with Fisher's son three years ago when Cranston police created this Facebook page to call attention to the cold case. Now police are appealing to Facebook friends again, hoping to generate new leads. We're turning to uh, social media because social media is a phenomenal platform to get uh, the police department's message out for anything, but in this case, uh, we have the ability to reach an incredibly amount of incredible amount of people. And Captain Vincent McAteer says anything may help. Well, no information is small or is insignificant to us. It may be a small piece of a very large puzzle that could go into solving a crime like this. And in this particular case, uh, we want to get back out with the message that we have not forgotten about this case and uh, that we're uh, that we are working hard on it. Fisher died on her 39th birthday. We have a link to the Facebook page on our website, WPRI.com. I'm Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.